Hey, hello, hi. Um, how we doing? It's Wednesday. It's you guesser. It's a Wednesday edition. It's kind of just a touch base. What I'm really hoping this mic doesn't disconnect because it seems to have trouble when I uh, plug it in sometimes here. But without further ado, we're uh, doing Diverse World. I am probably never going to get this one. I want to see this bike, though. This has got to be such a pain in the ass to ride. This looks like a freshly, um, not paved, added dirt to road. And this truck is either dumping dirt, which it looks like it is, and they're adding some water to help it maybe, uh, st like traction and whatnot. Maybe it's a little better that way. Uh, that thing on the window may actually tell us the location, or I can just look here as uh, I have now a region of the world where we are. But hey, how we doing? It is me saying hello probably for the third time this episode in a matter of one minute and 15 seconds. <clears throat> um, I'm going to say this is Cambodia, because these squiggles kind of look like Cambodian more than they do Thai, Thai but again... This is me, uneducated in any way, just eyeballing it and seeing what I come up with. Uh, maybe I can pin this down a bit better as we uh, get into town here. But, yeah, it is very much Wednesday. Uh, the day prior, I put up another, why am I over here? I'm on a racetrack? Why did they do a racetrack? I don't want to be here. Put me back there. Thank you. Can I not go down there? Okay, I can. Um, I've done the uh, new thing I'm doing on the channel, which seems very silly, and why am I doing it, but I want to. Uh, this cookbook that my aunt made probably 10 years ago at this point. might have been 15. I don't know exactly. It was a Christmas gift, I believe, she did for a lot of people in the family, and it's... Nothing but photocopied recipes, probably from some book that she had, or collection. Oh, there's probably a flag there. And it will let me in. I do see... I don't know if I can actually get to it. We're on Big Cleaning Day, 2014. And, hello, Cal. I think I know what you're doing, or about to do. He has opinions about Google, and they're uh, letting you know right then and there. But, new thing I'm doing on the channel. Okay, I do see the Cambodian. I am in the right place. I am very much going to continue with the recipes in that book. There's a bunch of them. There's things in there that don't exist. There's one I'm very much not looking forward to do because it re involves some sort of fad they did, probably in the 50s and 60s, um, that involved jello, or gelatin, I should say gelatin molds, meat, and other non-what you would think of Jello now. They, they made all sorts of stuff out of it. This is very pretty looking. I wonder if these flags, maybe it's the region within Cambodia they are. Yeah, this is Cambodia, and that's not Angkor Wat on the flag, I don't think. But I've just started... With that one pie, I've made it before, probably eight or so months ago, but I didn't make any videos on it. But I will be starting now. The next one is done. Well, not done, but picked out. Uh, I will probably end up doing it this weekend. Uh, we'll see. Never actually done what you have to do to make this thing, but it'll be exciting. I've just taken a complete guess as to where in Cambodia we are. I'm hoping I'm close. Most Cambodian ones seem to be near the border with Thai, Thailand, but no, this was not such the case. We were, of course, in the Prasat Sambor district. My inability to read clear and extremely legible Cambodian. Maybe it's Khmer, I think is the language they speak there. Uh, really did me in. Hello. Greece? Is that, that is a Peugeot. Um, interesting grave 
yard here. Everything appears to almost be above ground, at least the um, tombstones or whatever that thing is. All of it seems to be above ground. We are on a coast. I do not see a like land on the other side there, so maybe this is if well. I was gonna say maybe we're uh we could be on the Mediterranean or on the coast out here. So I'm thinking maybe this is Morocco or somewhere within the Mediterranean that very much does not see onto the other side of the sea. Um, hopefully I'll be able to see a flag somewhere, which would be able to tell me where we are, but not really seeing, well, whatever, never minding this anomaly here where the, whoa, where a chunk of the ocean seems to be lifting off of the horizon. I, why is it doing that to me? It, it throws me for a loop when I think I click on a road and it doesn't. This would make me extremely nervous to drive on. It's so narrow, especially with these steps. And then if another car comes, what are you going to do? Play some chicken? Um, oh, there's quite a bit of cars there. And just eek by you. Oh, you just seem to be stopped there. Nothing on any of these buildings. Just plain white. I mean, probably help with the sun because they probably get a lot. None of these lorries here. Just Peugeot. Really love their Peugeots here. Um, you got kind of a beach. Just gonna click long enough to hopefully get me. Maybe this is Morocco. I'm just trying to get to quote unquote downtown there, or at least potential for more uh, flags or whatnot. El Cucha. Cafe El Cucha. Is any of this in English? Well, I won't be able to tell from that side. I got a minute and a half. Let's see. Uh, the, the, the resolution is not very legible. I do see a flag. That is Tunisia. And if that wasn't also a pretty good reason, indicator is the French here. So we're in Tunisia. Last time we were here, we were in Sfax. So maybe we're out over here. Because if you look out in the water, once this gets off my screen, you really don't see too much land, although it kind of ekes out a bit over there. So maybe we're like here, although I didn't see any Sekba Ariana anywhere. Or this could be Kur Kurbus. And then Kurbus Plague. Is there like a... Is, maybe I'll see a uh, thing we just went by. I uh, I don't. I don't see a cemetery anywhere. We down here, next to this thing. There's just a stretch of road that goes right into the water. That's a probably like a tourist tester, making sure you're paying attention, or if you're just faithfully following your GPS without realizing you're going into the ocean, which apparently people have done. I can't read that, except for hotel, so... Oh, we were very much south, next to Madia, on Borge Eris, and Cap Africa. Cap Afrique Cape, maybe? Mm. Just keep drinking my coffee, figuring out where we are. Hello. This, hmm, not Russia. Not Finland. Estonia, maybe. Let's take a look at your... Okay, I cannot see that. I don't think this is going to help me. It does not, although looking at your wheels is going to trip me out. So now we just click as much as we can, although this building here makes me reconsider. Yeah, this is definitely not... God, this is... Carbonita. So this is definitely not um uh uh Europe. What is with my brain? I can't I can't think and or talk. Maybe this is South Africa. Arakuai, it's 170 kilometers. Wow. 
down that road, maybe? Terra Branch, uh, hmm. Earth Branch. Interesting. So, I now have zero idea where we are. We're on kilometer 488. Interesting trees. Which makes me feel this is European trees, but is this Spain? No, it may be Mac Argentina or Brazil right now. The entire chunk of what this could be in my mind is not very helpful. I'm hoping that going far enough down this road will let me see some more signage in the 2 minutes and 30 sec 13 seconds I have, although I am not very confident. Yeah. Hmm. But as far as the channel stuff's going, um, those cooking things, it'll be one a week. Unless I get something really weird and it's going to take me a long time to do it. But I'll probably make note of that on the Facebook thing. Um, I'll continue doing these probably still three times a week. Maybe I'll do less depending on how much this cooking thing overwhelms me. But... I've been doing this long enough that it's it's kind of a habit now. And I'm still messing around with magic. We'll see if that desire to continue playing sticks with me or not. We'll see. Hello, truck. Please, give me some secrets. You're an unmarked Mercedes-Benz. Lori with PW Transports. Nothing on your truck is helpful. Thank you for wasting all of our time. I feel like I'm extremely committed to going this way and not turning around because the closer I click, the more I click this way, the closer I feel to actually getting a piece of information that's helpful, and that sign might have just been something. Although it maybe it's more disambiguous foreign language that could be Portuguese or Spanish. Now I don't know where that sign went. I am panicking now. Uh, if you told me to guess right now, I'm going to say this is Argentina. And you asked me how confident I was, I'd say I'm not. Because this feels Mexican. This feels Brazilian. This feels Spanish. 20 seconds, please, truck. What is on you? Tempreco. Uh, it's dot com, so that doesn't help me. It's a Volkswagen. Velasca. Ondi tem ves casa tem preso. Oh, shit. All right, I'm just guessing Argentina. Apparently that was Brazil. The reason I didn't think it was Brazil is because those road markers didn't have, like, the usual markers on their highway signs. Like, this one should probably should have said MG with the kilometer on it, but it didn't. Carbonita, right there, of course. How did I not get that? That one was hard. Um, can I see? Uh, it just says straight up Google Maps Street View. Uh, does it give a URL? It does not. At least that would help me for where we are. Although these signs might. It's approval of the GHA. Is this Ghana? Nobody connects Ghana like we do. Well, how about that? Adempoku is 11 kilometers away in good old Gahana. So, plus side, Ghana not that big. Minus side, I know nothing of Ghana. Other than Accra. Um, and then there's that one lady on NPR who sometimes does correspondence from uh, Africa. And if she's not in Dakar, I think she's in Ghana. I forget what her name is, though. It's been a while since I've listened to NPR. Item Poco. I'm going to zoom in just a bit to see if I can't find it this way. Knowing my ability to see things, I'm not going to see this. But I've been wrong before for many, many things. Hopefully I'm underestimating myself to get this. but. There's plenty of other signs here. I should just do those instead, but I'm stubborn. If you've never met me before or talked to me, I am a bit stubborn. 
and this is no different. All right, I did not see it. If you saw it, hey, congratulations. You are better than me. Blessing Christ Ministry, New Jerusalem. I think that's the name of the church, maybe not so much the location. Is there any other sign? Uh, there is not. I'm going into town. What are we selling here? The Ensign College of Public Health in Kapong, huh? All right, so this is either the province or the town for Kapong. So I'm going to look for Kapong, Kapong, whatever you want to call it. There it is. Hello, Kapong. So we are on the eastern. We're looking for Ensign College of Public Health. Ensign College of Public Health. How about that? All right, so we were out here, I believe. Because if I go in and I see Goyle up here, I will have pretty much nailed it, I think. This is next to Royal Superstar. It's not what I'm looking for. Now all I can think of is that song from, I, it's not Debbie Gibson, is it? Where she sings, you, are, you must be my lucky star. And now that I'm like on the spot trying to remember all the words, it's not coming to my head. I just know the chorus goes, starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. Starlight, star bright, ooh yeah. I'm doing the song, No Justice. And it isn't even that great. It's just one of those things I had to listen to all the time as a child because my parents would, well, at least when I was driving in the car with my mom, she wanted to listen to Light Rock 98. Um, and I did not, but, you know, I had no control. She was driving the car. Um, what are you? Bus seats? Just without the seats? I'm not seeing that oil thing. Granted, maybe I haven't gotten far enough. Let's hit home and go the other way, because that would probably tell me in the eight seconds if I've actually... Healer's Church. Uh, small world. Oh, we were farther. We were closer into town. Oh, maybe... All right, so heading backwards, we were going that way. We kept going that way. We went to got. We would have gone to oil. All right. I had myself 180. Silly me. This is cool. This is not obs. Wow. Look at these mountains. I don't know how anybody would actually hike this stuff because it looks scary, but this is amazing. I would drive this. In a heartbeat. This looks fun. Right up against the rocks like this. Um, I'm feeling this is Europe, although these maybe northern Italy. These kind of look more like limestone rocks, the way they erode specifically. This chunk of slab or whatever doesn't tell me anything. This could be now I'm feeling Taiwan. These are just all over the place. Uh hello truck. Wow, you've got no doors. And you've been here for a while. That's a very flat tire. And you got a bunch of leaves in the back of your truck bed. Whoa. All right. Um, we are very much in Europe because of this building here. Although you're blurring out everything that could be of potential use for me. Like this right here. Something club with a very scary looking Tweety Bird knockoff, maybe? I don't know. Well, so much for seeing that sign. Um, I'm sticking with Italy right now. Uh, yeah, I'm sticking with Italy. I mean, this kind of looks Italian to me, but it's just word, word salad to me right now. I mean, this looks amazing. We're about to probably get to a very, very nice um, overlook. All I wonder... Why all the tires right there? Let me see this. Oh God, look at this. What is what is this place? Osteria del Tiglio. Field Schloss. Field Schlossen. So that's it. We're in Switzerland. All right. Because I saw the German there. I was thinking we're Italy. If we're not in Italy, we're over here in uh, 
Switzerland. But look at this. Look at this goddamn view. I'd be so nervous parking right here. Yet I have no problem driving on it. This is amazing, and I very much want to come here. Bar Osteria Amitsi. Will I actually get like a town name or something here? They just threw this whole like town on the side of a uh, on the side of a mountain. Is this the name of the town here? Anseronesi. I don't know. But this is an amazing town. Amazing location. I would come here again and often. Let's see, it starts with an O. This is not gonna work out, but I'm just I'm just gonna look. Yeah. Are we next to Weissfle? I mean this isn't Liechtenstein. See Osterreich. Actually, no. Uh Eichberg. I'm gonna go back and look at that town because that old word just made me think, no, this has gotta be this is where we are. And I know it's not right, but my brain's yelling at me to do this. So I'm gonna do it. Oster Oster known C. I ran out of time. So we were closer to uh the Italian border here. What's the name of this little town here, huh? Well, there's the, oh, it's Russo. Central Social Osternosi, whatever it's called. That is an amazing place. Very pretty. And that's going to do it for this Wednesday. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I appreciate all the time you take every day to watch all the silly stuff I do. If you have comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, hint, tips, tricks, Whatever it is, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll read them and get back to you. More stuff coming up this week. More of the usual. Maybe some other surprising stuff. I'm not sure yet, depending on how the rest of the week goes. But pay attention to, I guess, the Facebook or just if anything else pops up on this channel. I don't know when I'm doing it. It'll just happen. But anyway, thanks again. Have a good one. Goodbye.